Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, we're going to walk through one of the newest Procreate features, which is adding text to your Procreate artwork. So what you see on screen is exactly what we're going to be creating together. I'm going to take you through how to mask in some texture into your text and also apply a layer mask to put some script lettering on top of it and kind of through it. So we're just going to get started. I'm going to create a brand new screen size document first. Okay, so here's my screen size document, and now we just wanna add in that text. So you're gonna hit the wrench, and you're gonna hit add, and choose add text right here. Once you do that, you get a text box, and you can type in whatever you'd like. So I'm gonna type in texture, and you can see it's all lowercase right now, so I can hit edit style, and I'm going to change the font to Futura Bold, and I'm going to toggle my all caps over here and that'll convert it to all caps. I'm going to increase my size. If yours ends up toggling down a couple of lines, all you have to do is grab and pull the text box to expand it, make it a little bit larger. I'm going to make this one just a little bit bigger. Okay, and then I want to apply some tracking. The difference between tracking and kerning is tracking applies it to all of your letters at once. So you can see it's the same amount between all the letters that's getting applied, that space. And with kerning, you really only want to use kerning when you're adjusting the space between letters. So if I put my cursor between the U and the R and I wanted to reduce the amount of space right here, that's when I would use kerning, just for that relationship. And you can do that with any relationship, but that's where kerning comes in. It's adjusting the individual spaces between your letters, whereas tracking adjusts the space between all of your letters. Okay, so that looks good. So if you have your cursor blinking like I do right now and you want to change the color of your text, you want to come back to the keyboard and then you want to come back to edit style to make that cursor go away so then you can change the color of your text. And now you can just tap on the circle up here and change the color of it. You won't be able to do that if you have a cursor blinking, which I'm sure is probably something that Procreate will fix. But there's a workaround, so it works either way. So now we've got our text all set, and now I can just grab my cursor, bring it down a little bit, and let me zoom out and see if that looks pretty well positioned. And now we're going to integrate some texture into it. So I'm using an ink texture from my newest ink texture kit. There's a link in the video description if you'd like to check out all of the textures. So these are transparent PNGs. You can place them on top of anything and your background can still show through. So that's really helpful. But in order to use a transparent PNG within Procreate, you need to insert it as a file versus just grabbing an image off your camera roll. So in order to do that, I'm just going to hit the wrench, choose insert a file and these are all of my textures right here so I am going to grab this 10c texture right here and it'll bring that in and now I can just come over here to this layer I'm going to tap on it and choose clipping mask and that will mask it right into my text and now I can grab my cursor and reduce or increase the size and kind of reposition it or re-angle it I want to get a, a nice amount of texture in here to so it really looks pretty. All right, so that looks good. So once you're all set, deselect, and now we can integrate our regular lettering. So I'm going to create a new layer right on top. I'm gonna to grab one of my brushes. I'm gonna grab my custom flat marker brush. This is available for free over on my site. I'll leave a link in the video description for this one as well. And I'm going to grab this hot pink color right here. And I'm just gonna write ink right on top. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. Okay, let me reposition that just a little bit. All right, give my eye a dot up top. All right, so now we want this to look kind of like it's intertwined with the texture type. So in order to do that, we need to apply a layer mask. I have an entire video on masking in Procreate that I would highly recommend you check out that fully explains how to use masking within Procreate. But just to give you a quick summary, we're going to come over to our lettering layer. I'm going to apply a mask to it. So tap on it and choose mask right here, not clipping mask. We want a regular mask for this. And now when we paint, we want to paint in black or white. And when you paint in black on top of your lettering layer, it's going to hide those areas. And if you want to bring them back, then you just paint in white. Once again, please watch the video on masking. It explains it very thoroughly, so you'll know exactly what to do when it comes to layer masking. So I'm just going to use a different brush. I'm going to use my custom mono weight brush right here, also available for free. And now what I want to do is whenever I'm masking, I want to mask only in the areas where the text is. 
So in order to do that, I'm going to select my texture text right here. So I'm just going to tap on it and choose select. I'm going to return to my layer mask layer. So make sure that one is the dark blue layer right here. And now whenever I paint, it's only going to paint within the text. So you can see when I'm painting in black, when I'm painting in black right here, it's only taking it away from my text layer. I don't have to worry about getting these perfect edges because I've selected the text. And now I want this to overlap and then underlap right here. And then overlap again, go under. I kind of just alternate back and forth with these. And then this one will be behind. Over. This one will shoot out from up there and I'm okay with that one overlapping and that's it. Okay, so now you can see that it's kind of overlapping and underlapping. So it looks like it's very entwined within my text layer. So that is masking kind of in a nutshell. And now all we have to do is add in the black background layer to make everything kind of pop and come forward. So I'm just gonna tap on background layer and choose black and there you go. So that's how to use text, a basic overview of using text in Procreate with adding some texture into it and then intertwining some lettering as well. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe and don't forget to head on over to my site every hyphen Tuesday.com for even more design and lettering tutorials and freebies. And don't forget to hit the link in the video description and you can go pick up that texture kit and you can also have access to all of my free Procreate brushes. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.